This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News, and we're here with Wayne Ward, Vice President of uh, Business and Product Development with Sprint. Thank you for having us. me. Thank you for having me. So you just walked off stage, and uh, there was a slide up there that had areas of interest for Sprint, and what caught my attention was the robotics slide. Talk a little bit, if you would, about the strategic potential of robotics for a mobile operator. Um, well, we see, uh, we have interest in a couple of different areas. Um, and let me start by saying that, um, you know, we are majority owned by SoftBank out of Japan, and they actually have SoftBank Robotics, Inc. They have a, an entire division uh, as a separate sister holding company dedicated to robotics and AI in general. Um, and they launched uh, um, a, a consumer product uh, last year that is named Pepper. Um, and it's done quite well um, in Japan. They've now introduced it to us, and the concepts that we're looking at in terms of how it would help us would be, um, number one, could we use Pepper uh, in our own retail stores to help with hosting and greeting customers? Mm -hmm. um, can we utilize um, Pepper as a way to demonstrate products? Um, and so that's one of the areas looking mm -hmm. at for our own benefit. Right. Um, and also to drive traffic into stores and things of that nature. I mean, to some degree, um, you know, Pepper can, can, you know, emote and, and has human-like qualities. And so we feel that that is uh, something that people are interested in can attract folks uh, to Sprint and our brand, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and then more specifically, what we're looking at is how can we introduce um, um, the concept of Pepper to our enterprise customers and help um, some of our large enterprise customers in the area of manufacturing and robotics and manufacturing, retailing in the same manner that we're using. Um, uh, we would be using Pepper as uh, as greeter staff, as uh, shopper concierge, um, in in areas that our large customers be looking for us to help supply more of the solutions that you're looking for. So those are two of the general areas mm -hmm. we're looking at in terms of robotics. How about industrial applications? Are there potential there with AI and industrial applications for robotics and Sprint? Uh, so, so significant for that industry. Um, I think that some of our downstream suppliers probably use a significant amount of robotics in their manufacturing facilities. I was at a conference here um, just last week looking at uh, multiple uses for um, high transaction oriented robotics. Um, and, and really the conference was not about how do you use robotics in place of human um, uh, jobs and, and skill sets, but it's the side by side, you know, the one plus one equals three. Right. So how could you augment your manufacturing facilities in the, you know, high transaction um, uh, manufacturing space to work side by side with humans to create a better working environment for both offload mundane tasks and leave humans mm -hmm. to, you know, manage the, the the robotics and the infrastructure from an industrial perspective, um, and um, and then the learned behavior uh, associated with that. But I still think that uh, while there's a lot of applications in manufacturing today and in some of the retail um, space that we talked about, I think that the future is is definitely a, a you know exponential growth ahead of us in terms of the uses of robotics and in particular um, uh, AI in, in the space and the combination of the two. Okay. Well, we're going to take a short break and then we're going to come back and I'll like to talk a little bit more about Sprint's enterprise offering and the future of it. Okay.